Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It was indeed a pleasure to meet President Obama, 27 uh, representatives of our 27 member states, plus the European Commission, and the President of the European Parliament. It was, I believe, a great importance, this meeting. We have shown our joint commitment, our willingness to engage in a strong transatlantic relationship. We have highlighted the importance of the economic relation. We have confirmed our willingness to speed and to reinforce the work of the Transatlantic Economic Council so that we can achieve more regulatory convergence and also work on our bilateral economic relation that is by far the most important in the world between the United States and the European Union, but also to work together on global issues from climate change to energy security to trade and also the other security issues like non-proliferation and fight against terrorism. Specifically on climate change, we really welcome the steps taken by President Obama, um, the increased convergence between the European and American position with strong leadership. I believe you can make a success of the Copenhagen Conference. Energy security is also top in our priorities, and I think it is important what we can do bilaterally also in that matter. On trade, we are working also to achieve an agreement regarding the global uh, trade talks. And they are also a very important way to promote economic global recovery and also our support for the developing world. I'd like to, particularly to highlight the commitment of President Obama to reinforce our engagement with the developing world. These are important issues at this moment where, working together, the United States and the European Union can indeed provide global leadership to a world that really needs it. It is quite important to understand that without this strong transatlantic relationship, it will not be possible to uh, reinforce the commitment to our shared values, the values of freedom and democracy. Yes, as mentioned by uh, President Barroso, this was really the uh, first time for the European leaders to meet with the new administration and President Obama to um, have our first discussions on climate change. Uh, I have on behalf of the European Union welcomed the uh, new signals, uh, the leadership now shown in, on climate change from the US administration. We are following very closely uh, what they are intending to do and hoping to come together uh, in, our, in our efforts. I think it's extremely important with the incoming presidency of Sweden to be very active in talks and, and in working together between the European Union and the United States uh, on this issue. It's very important to answer to the how question, how to do it, that we engage in how to put up uh, emissions trading, how to increase efficiency, how to get the steering mechanisms in place to actually get the low-carbon economy that we are talking about and that people are willing to see in our leadership to be put in place. Finally, we totally agree that to a global problem you need a global response. Therefore, you cannot only say that it's Europe and the United States together, it's a whole world that must come together. And we therefore welcome all the efforts done by President Obama also to engage in all the major economies into this pro process. The vast majority of the emissions must be inside when we take the decision, hopefully, in Copenhagen. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think for me, especially for me, is a big privilege to host uh, Barack Obama in Prague. And um, I was uh, very appreciative uh, of, uh, of his coming here. And um, uh, his uh, brilliant uh, speech in uh, Hrachani Square uh, was uh, excellent not only for Czech Republic, for Czech people, but uh, for all European inhabitants. Um, I think the concrete result of our Prague summit is a joint statement of European Union and the United States about North Korean launch today, and I think it will be maybe some mark of this summit, and I thank especially to Barack Obama to, to take part in this EU 27 countries and, and uh, had the possibility to, to listen to our, our common values, common views, and common world politics. Thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, I want to thank uh, the leadership of uh, all three gentlemen uh, who have joined me in this press conference. Uh, 
you know, we had a frank and wide-ranging meeting uh, around a whole host of issues. Uh, as uh, has been mentioned, I am very pleased with the joint statement uh, with respect to uh, the North Korean launch. I think it's indicative of the fact that when uh, Europe and the United States act in concert, uh, that uh, we can make a difference uh, not just on local issues but on international issues. Uh, we discussed uh, a range of economic concerns and built on the conversations that we had had at the G20. Uh, I'm feeling very optimistic that we are going to be working together actively uh, over the next several months to implement uh, a wide range of new regulatory programs, uh, stimulus programs to encourage growth and jobs, and that if we have not seen sufficient results from the actions that we've taken at G20, uh, that there will be a strong commitment to pursue further action to uh, provide opportunity, jobs, uh, and a decent standard of living for all people. Uh, as has been mentioned, we discussed the issue of energy, uh, both our need to deal with climate change, but also uh, the issue of dealing with energy security. Uh, and ensuring that uh, Europe and the United States have diversified energy sources. Uh, and we talked uh, not only about Afghanistan and reported about uh, what we had uh, discussed extensively at NATO and the actions that were taken at NATO, but we also discussed uh, other issues such as Iran and agreed that uh, if Europe and the United States are cooperating, uh, then uh, we're going to get uh, a lot more done in advancing our common security. So uh, overall, I appreciate uh, the extraordinary leadership that the uh, EU and the Commission have shown. Uh, we are looking forward to continuing this cooperation. Uh, obviously, the relationship between the United States and Europe uh, is already strong. Uh, there have been times where it appears at the margins that we're bickering, but the things that we have in common are so much more significant than those things that drive us apart uh, that sometimes we may tend to take for granted uh, these relationships. But uh, I actually think that uh, it is uh, one of the key foundations for progress in the world. And uh, we are going to continue to pursue it. We're going to continue to strengthen it. Uh, I've been greatly encouraged by uh, the progress that I've made during this trip to Europe, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing continued progress in the months and years to come. So thank you very much, everybody.